So McNoob versus Edward, game two. Twilight fans rejoice if McNoob actually, uh, uh, sorry, if Edward actually wins this. Um, we on Zelnaga Caverns this time. Uh, we just finished that game with a brilliant battle cruiser rush from McNoob. Sadly, it didn't work out, but um, it was pretty interesting to watch nonetheless. So we've loaded up, and uh, this, I, like I said uh, uh, in a few games already, I compare this map to Steps of War in many ways. It might be a little bit bigger, but it's got the same kind of playstyle. Um, these Zalnaga towers in the middle of the map, slightly better positioned than the ones on Steps of War, but uh, they are, yeah, so a lot more useful on this map. Um, and here goes this this incredibly early probe, scouting immediately around uh, these minerals and his natural, and he's going to probably have a look around everywhere, but he doesn't go behind those trees once again. Um, it's pretty much impossible. I mean, uh, I'm not even sure why he scouted there. I just got to tell you guys that it's, it is it is physically impossible for an SCV to be there that early, so that little bit of scouting there was pretty useless. Um, he does lose out on a bit of income there. If we have a look at the income tab, I don't think he'll be behind, but, um, oh, well, he is, in fact, a little bit behind, but, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty silly scouting that early. I guess he just wants to make sure. And McNoop doing nearly the same thing. He's putting his supply depot in the back of his base here so that he can see if there's going to go a pylon up there or not. And, uh, Edward just looking around on, uh, at McNoop's base here, not seeing anything yet. He's going to see that supply depot going up, though, so, uh, I suppose he won't be suspecting anything really crazy here. Okay, so Edward going to try to do some harass on this little SCV here, yeah? but it seems like McNoob knows it's coming, and he's got two more SCVs coming as backup. He might only need one. So Edward's going to have to hightail it out of there. He doesn't want to lose another probe. Well, he doesn't want to lose a probe this early, at least. In Edward's base, we've got pretty standard stuff going down. Um, gateway, pylon. He's chrono boosting those, those extra probes out. I suppose he needs to do that. He wants to get his economy up and running. Um... We've got a little bit of a fisty cuffs going on here. This SCV is going to lose out. If it stops now, it's probably going to get taken out by that by that probe. The probe hasn't lo taken any health damage yet, so it's it's looking pretty good for that victory. Okay, so um, a bit of an update here from Dreamer. His brother, Angry African, is having internet issues, so let's hope he makes it in time. It would be terrible for someone like that to drop out. Anyway, so McNoob doing his own little bit of scouting here. He's having a look around the base. He sees that everything is in fact here. He's not He's not going to see any proxy 2 gates near his base. Um, you can see everything is here. He's got that gateway. He sees the cybernetic score going down. Pretty important stuff for him to see that. Um, and over in McNoob's base, we've seen pretty much the same build that he used in the previous game. But uh, as it always is with Terran, you can pretty much go anywhere with that. So this, this SCV is still running around. Only on 10 HP now. Um, I suppose just doing that to entertain us. Always interesting to see those those two little uh, workers duke it out at the start of the game. So we're gonna have a look at this little APM tab here for a second. Both players incredibly low APM. Wow. Um, not like those Asians, you know. Uh, Totoro. We saw him spamming those keys, 300 and something APM in the first few seconds of the game. Um, that's crazy stuff, but here we see an average of 80 and 70, so it's pretty normal. I think that's that's what you want to be on. You might want to speed it up a bit for the fights and stuff, but uh, anyway, we see uh, Edward getting this first stalker out now. Um, uh, he's, I think he's just going his normal build again. He's probably going to transition into either that early robo, and there goes the early robo, okay, um, or I was going to say the full gate, but we do see the early robotics, so that's always interesting to see. You, uh, a, a Protoss player can do a lot with that. And over at McNoob's side, um, he's got that reactor going down on his racks now, but he's going to be swapping that with the factory. I think he'll be pumping out some Helions. Um, and I think the reason McNoob is probably doing that now is because he saw this base of Edward, and he can see that it's pretty exposed. Um, you've got this run in from the ramp, from his choke, incredibly exposed. He can run uh, with a lot of room to spare in and just assault this mineral line. So McNoob probably going to take advantage of that. Or not, I will eat my words, there comes the tech lab on the factory. So McNoob is just getting those marines out, which are um, the bread and butter unit of Terran, obviously. He can uh, he can cover, cover pretty much anything with those. And um, he's got that starport going up now as well. And uh, Edward... Wow, okay, so there comes the, the second gateway, and I sh I'm sure we're going to see the third one coming out soon as well. He's got that observer coming out now, so he's going to get a good look around McNoob's base, because McNoob has in fact blocked that choke, and he's got that, that bunker there full of marines. So, um, an interesting build here from McNoob. i got to say, a lot more... Um, 
let's just say he's he's taken a measured approach in this game. Um, he doesn't want to risk it again. That battle cruiser rush, if it had worked, it would have been brilliant. It would have been great success there. But um, in this game, I think he wants to just, uh, you know, not take too many uh, risks like that. McNoob is supply capped at the moment. He throws up two supply depots um, to to make sure that doesn't happen again anytime soon. And he's just trying to move this tank into a more desirable position. Um, let's see. So he hasn't researched siege mode for his tank yet. I'm not sure if he's going to get that for his siege tanks, but. Um, uh, definitely an interesting build here. We are never bored when we watch McNoob, that is for sure. He's getting a Raven out at the moment. Um, no Hunter Seeker missile researching just yet. He, he doesn't have the gas for it at the moment. Edward is about to see that Raven coming out, but if he doesn't get that Observer out of the way, the Raven will spot it and those Marines will take it down. Um, so McNoob, he's, he's mixing it up here, that's for sure. Um, I've seen a few times, I actually heard Kreflever complaining big time about uh, this very interesting mass raven strat that some people have been using on the ladders now. Um, he says he was taken down a few times by it as, as Zerg. They just build those ravens, they throw down those auto turrets everywhere, and I mean absolutely everywhere, a screen full of auto turrets, and um, then they just pretty much slowly but surely <laughs> steamroll you with that. And there you go, the Raven spots the Observer. Luckily for Edward, he's wasting some cash on another one. He's got his second Observer coming out now. Um, I think that's just to ward off any Banshees that he actually thinks come in, which in fact are on their way. There comes the first Banshee, but there's no research for it. So, um, as I said before, incredibly interesting strat by McNoob. He's not getting any research, he's not getting a Siege mode, he's not getting Cloak for the Banshees, but he is getting Banshees and Tanks. So, interesting stuff. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Um, Edward is not expecting that because uh, you know you won't know how to counter that. How do you counter so many different units? McNoob seems to be saving up a little bit, as one of our observers just mentioned. He's got quite a few minerals there, and um, Edward taking his chances at expanding at his. I think that would be called his second natural, but it's behind these destructible rocks, so um, it is pretty much out of the way. If McNoob doesn't on purposely go scout down there, he's not gonna. He's not gonna see that. So. It looks like it's go time for McNoob. He's on the move now. He has absolutely no idea of what's going on in Edward's base at the moment. He knows there are four gateways down. He knows there's that robotics facility, but he doesn't know what the army composition looks like. And here come those SCVs again. McNoob and his all-ins. You know, this is crash and burn every time. Let's hope he makes it this time for his sake and for our sake. We want to see a third game. We want to see these two battle it out once again. Um, but uh, he hasn't seen that expansion. Edward has just wasted a few minerals on that and the, the assimilator he's throwing up over there so um, that means he is at a slight disadvantage at the moment but let's see if McNoob can capitalize from that not a good time to be lagging guys um, McNoob is on the move here he sends that raven in slightly carelessly it takes a bit of damage there but um, he just wants to get some sight up there Edward doing incredibly good job at just blocking this ramp off with his, with his shields here he's going to want to block it off again put a force field down you're going to have to do that incredibly soon um, if he doesn't block, and he does block it off again, yeah, um, he's going to try to keep him out as long as he can, because he can see all those SCVs there, he knows if he just holds out a little bit longer, um, he'll he'll have this game, because he has, obviously, McNoob has taken off all those units from his supply, his mineral line, and here we go, the fight starts, a lot of marines trapped here by these force fields, and Edward playing brilliantly, here, some nice micro, he managed to isolate those, isolate those marines with those force fields, and uh, just pick them off like that, the raven going down, the raven is dead, and uh, wow, McNoob slowly being whittled away here by Edward and his uh, stalkers and immortals, not such good play from, from McNoob, I think the only thing he was missing here, was siege mode on those tanks and there it is as I was about to say he needs that siege mode if he had that when he first attacked it really really would have saved that for him I think he might even have won that fight and uh, taken this game but have a look at this all those SCVs on their way back to his base so all in aborted by McNoob not the best idea this is um, this is not great for McNoob